I'm back again with a new project. I just finished my finish 4x40, although I didn't actually finish anything, but that's not the point. And I was trying to come up with a new idea for a kind of intermediate project to help with the whole project pan type thing. Um, and I was looking at dates that are coming up for event type things. And I thought, oh, the solstice comes up towards the end of June. Uh, for the Northern Hemisphere, it's the 21st of June. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the 22nd of June, which are actually the same basic day because of time things. But anyway. So I decided that I was going to do a finish by the solstice challenge. And then I was trying to think of a number. And I went through a whole bunch of my makeup and pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. And I ended up with 17. So I have 17 by the solstice which seems like a lot, but some of them are actually kind of gimmies. Um, some of them might not be, but it's basically three and a half months or so, just over three, I think it's, yeah, it's almost four months. So um, it's, that's, you know, quite a bit of time to actually work through some of these things. And some of them are ones that at the end of three months you'd be getting rid of them anyway because they're like mascaras. So, um... So I'm doing the 17 by the solstice. If you want to join in, you don't have to do 17. You could do like 7 by the solstice or 16 by the solstice or something like that. Um, so if you want to join in, if you haven't got enough challenges on your plate already, because <laughs> I know some um, are doing 7 by spring and uh, 5 by Cinco de Mayo. So I just thought I'd chuck another one out there. And of course you could jump in at any time, like when you finish those ones. So this will go until June 21st, 22nd, depending on where you live. Um, yeah, so let's get into the things I have chosen for this particular 17 items for this challenge. So the first one is this blush, which is a fashionista blush. It's called Rose Shine kind of got really sick and tired of the one that I've got in my um, project pan. This is a very bright, uh, excuse the smear on the back of my hand, um, a very bright pink one. Um, you can build it up quite a bit. I'm actually wearing it today. It's the first different um, blusher I have worn since I started project panning. Um, it's quite fun to use a different one for a change. So that's that one. And then we have my e.l.f. under eye high definition setting powder. According to the back, I have about that much left. Uh, roughly. So it's not, it's not completely full. I have been using it for a little while. I don't really think that it should take that long, especially if I'm wearing it regularly. I mean, now that I've going back to school, there's at least two days a week that I'm going to be wearing makeup. Hopefully more. <laughs> the next one is the Fructus uh, Goodbye Damage Hair Split Ends Serum. I actually haven't got a huge amount left. This is, you know, pretty much a gimme, this one, because um, I'm right down there. But it does actually last ages. I think I've probably had this for a year. Um, and even though I've got lots of hair, you really don't need a lot. You only need a couple of pumps. So um, this will probably last. And I, I don't wash my hair a lot. I do have other treatments that I use because I vary in between them. Um, so this one, I reckon I'll probably get at least a month out of this one, if not longer. Then... I have, these I'm counting as two, they actually come connected like this. This is the e.l.f. under eye concealer on this end and highlighter on this end. Um, this one is a better colour match for me than the Maybelline Fit Me that I was using. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Um, I don't actually know how much is in the concealer and it will not settle down even if I leave it standing on this end for hours and hours and hours. So I don't really know how much is in there. Um, the brightener, I believe, is about down there. That's You can see empty packaging. There's a bit up on the sides, but it's about down there. And I tend to use that along the top of my cheekbone 
um, when I'm doing like the foundation part of my makeup. So that I'm counting as two. Then we have oh, is it going? we have my brown mascara for the days that I don't want to wear black mascara. This is the Lash Architect 40 from L'Oreal. This is in Marin or Brown. Um, this is getting starting to dry out a little bit, so this one won't be around for much longer anyway. Um, so I'll definitely have it finished by the solstice. Um, the lid does not want to go back on properly, which is part of the problem with that package design. Um, next we have the Faultine Lash Treatment Stuff. This is for eyebrows and eyelashes. It's came in a subscription box. I've used it a few times, but not a lot. Um, it's just a clear gel. I tend to put it on after I've um, removed my makeup. I'll put it on my eyelashes and my eyebrows. I don't know how well it works, but I figure if I use it consistently for three months, I'll find out whether it's actually worth the massive price tag on this stuff. Not that I paid the massive price tag. So that's that one. Um, then we have the Eon... If you're wondering why I keep looking over there, that's where I've got it all written down. Um, the Eon, Eon Wheat Germ Cream. I got this in a Mimi box. It is just a really nice, thick, I've only just started using it, thick cream. I tend to use this at night as my night cream because it is really, really thick. Um, it is apparently whitening, anti-wrinkle, moisturiser, brightener. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So, and it is 75 mil, but I reckon I can get through that in three months. <laughs> I hope I can. Um, next, we have some lipstick stuff. Um, the first one is the Colorish Balm from L'Oreal. This is in Dragon Fruit. Um, it's actually what I'm wearing today over the top of the lip liner. And the reason I picked this uber bright pink colour and it's quite a bright pink colour is because the beauty school I like that um, the beauty school I'm going to um, my lecturer is like no nude lipstick we want colour and I'm like, that is like the first time ever I've heard somebody say that to me. So um, I figure if I have to wear this at least twice a week and re keep reapplying it during the day to keep the colour fresh, then I should be able to make a fairly good dent in it at least. I haven't really used it, so that is where we're at, like right now. So... Um, yeah, but I quite like it. I like how it feels on the lips. It doesn't feel drying or anything. Unlike the other one I'm going to show you, which is super drying, but I really want to use it. Um, and that is the Clara Kiss Proof um, Liquid Lipstick Stuff. This, again, is super bright pink. So, again, I'll probably wear it to school. Um, it is quite thick. And it is a matte because um, it's yeah, kiss proof lips um, I would probably wear a gloss or something over the top of it because I'm not hugely keen on matte and this one is a fairly drying matte and so and that is I've worn this like once so it's basically completely full and if I was going to wear a gloss it would probably be this one which is the Chi Chi one of the Chi Chi lip glosses, I got a whole bunch of them. Um, these are just like the mini, little mini ones. Um, this one is actually more, although it looks really, really pink, it's actually almost completely, it's like right there, it's almost completely clear. Um, so it won't really change the colour too much. It might dull it down a little bit, but it won't change the colour too much. Um, and that hasn't ever been used other than swatch on my hand. So. <laughs> It is completely full. And to go with all of those, I have the Mona Lisa lip pencil in number 115, which is a nice pink lip liner. That is the lip liner I'm using at the moment today. 
Um, I got this with a lipstick and lip gloss thing, um, but I'm not using that. I'm using, yeah. Um, and that one I've actually marked it on my book. So from this bottom line here, it is all the way up here. Look, I'll turn it that way. So from, it's like that long. So I'll be using this to mark it off so I can see how far I've actually got. Okay, so where are we up to now? Ah, we have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is the full size one. I got this as part of my um, Anastasia Brow Kit thing when I got that. Um, I've only just started using this because I just finished off the sample size that I had. So it's just a clear brow gel. It's not really my favourite. It doesn't really keep my brows in place. I'm still searching for one that actually works really well on my brows. I'll find it eventually. And then for a bit of colour, you know, everybody likes a bit of colour. And I have this on today under my eyes. I don't know how well you can see it. And obviously my eye thing I tight lined with is travelling. Yay. Um, this is the models prefer eye pencil in teal maybe which is just a really really gorgeous shimmery tealy green color really really like this um, it's supposed to be 14 hour wear and I just like that it gives just a bit of color under the eye especially as I've been wearing lots of neutral eyeshadows because of my project um, my pan that palette which is all neutral type shades again I held the pencil up against the bottom line there and we're on the way up there so the lip pencil is slightly longer and we will see how those go then I have my current black mascara which is the W7 big lash mascara I actually really like this stuff it's actually surprised because it's pretty cheap um, got it from Chemist Warehouse, in case you're wondering, in Australia. Um, it's got a big, fat brush. Natural, like, um, not like the plasticky brushes, like actual fibre brush. I actually find that it gives me fairly good length and curl, because I haven't curled my lashes at all. So it, it kind of does that for you. It's, um, it's not a bad mascara for the price. The second to last thing in this massive project is something you might recognise. It is actually the bronzer from my Finish 4 by 40 um, which obviously I didn't finish. It is by Fashionista and it is in the colour Barcelona. I was using this to do my um, blending out in my crease as well as my contour. I'll only be using it for contour from now on because I really need to get into my um, eyeshadow palette. So it has got a fairly large piece of pan on it right there. So hopefully, I don't know if I'll get it finished, but I will make a damn fine attempt to actually do so. And the last thing I have, I'm counting this as one, even though there's technically four in here. Um, I don't know if any of them will get finished, but this is the Revlon Cream Shadow in Eternal Summer. So this one here is like a yellowy sort of shade. This one is what I'm actually wearing today. It's like a deep khaki type green. This one is obviously a blue. I was thinking I could probably wear that when I wear my um, wear grey eyeshadow. One of the colours in my pan that palette is actually kind of grey. And the last one is orange. It actually reminds me a lot of Fierce and Tangy from um, Maybelline's colour tattoo which I actually have. So that's that one there. Um, there is, according to the back of this, there is 3.4 grams total in that um, so I think I probably, I mean I don't think there's a lot in any of them. Um, I don't know how well I will go at actually getting rid of any of them. 
but I'm going to try. And if you want to know how well the Clara Kiss Proof lasts and the Maybelline's Eye Pencil lasts, I've just wiped the back of my hand with a makeup wipe. Not a baby wipe, makeup wipe. That there's the Modest Prefer Eyeliner. That's the lip liner you can just see. And that is the Clara Kiss Proof. The baby ain't coming off once she goes on. <laughs> so if you're wondering how good the Claras are, they actually are really, really good. They are just a little bit drying. So it's, make sure you moisturize well. Um, okay, so that is my 17 by the Solstice. Um, I will do monthly updates on that um, probably. Unless, you know, I make huge strides or something and I want to do one earlier. Um, so it'll probably, the first one I'll do will probably be about the 21st of, 21st or 22nd of March. Um, and then every month from then until the solstice. So that is the summer winter solstice, in case you're wondering. It will be the winter solstice for me and the summer solstice for those in the northern hemisphere. So if you'd like to join me, you're more than welcome to. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to reply to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.